evaluating trig functions for 45 degrees. Let's say we have a right triangle with an angle theta. Let's label the sides as opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Recall the definitions for sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Now let's set that angle theta equal to 45 degrees. Here we'll use this triangle to calculate the sine, cosine, and tangent of 45 degrees. Let's say the opposite has length x. Now remember that the angles in a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. We know that one angle is 45 degrees and the right angle is 90 degrees. This means that the other angle must be 45 degrees as well. So this right triangle is also an isosceles triangle, meaning two of its angles are equal. In isosceles triangles, the sides opposite those equal angles are also equal in length. That means that in this triangle, if the opposite has length x, then the adjacent also has length x. Now we'll use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse in terms of x. The Pythagorean theorem says that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides of a right triangle. So the hypotenuse squared equals x squared plus x squared. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. Let's take the square root of both sides. So the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 2x squared. The square root of x squared is x, so we can pull that out of the root. The hypotenuse has length x times root 2. So now we have enough information to evaluate all these trig functions at 45 degrees. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's x over x root 2. The x's in the numerator and denominator cancel, leaving us with 1 over root 2. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's again x over x root 2. The x's cancel again, so the cosine of 45 degrees, like the sine of 45 degrees, is 1 over root 2. The tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of 45 degrees is x over x. The x's cancel, so the tangent of 45 degrees is 1. So the sine and cosine of 45 degrees equal 1 over root 2, and the tangent of 45 degrees equals 1.